Today's video is going to be short but sweet, and this is going to be a video that I will be focusing on over the next week or so. I will be filming this video today as well as a video following up in the next few days. Today we are going to be testing out a handful of drugstore foundations and concealers. We're going to be testing out which combination works best swatch-wise, and then whichever ones work out best, we're going to be testing on my face with a full face of makeup in the next video. This is my foundation basket. I'm gonna adjust the camera. This holds all my setting powders, the foundations I use regularly, as well as the foundations and concealers I got for this video. So basically what I'll be doing is I'll be swatching the foundations on one side of my arm and doing the concealers on the other. Now you may notice that some of the colors are different than others. Some are a little lighter, some are a little darker. I did this for a reason as to match other people's skin tones when I do other people's makeup and when my skin tone changes. So with that being said, let's get to it. Enjoy this video. To start out, I'm gonna take some makeup tape and I'm gonna use two primers to make the swatches on my arms. I'm gonna be using Max Prep and Prime, which is one of my holy grails. And before that, I'm going to be using Smashbox's Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm just using my little bottle of that today. And I'm going to be using both of those on each side. And the next time you see me, I will have swatches, swatches all over my arm. So at this point, I'm gonna do a little voiceover with a little video with some outside light of these foundations and concealers to show you guys what they all look like, as well as which product is which. And I'm gonna tell you guys then which I think are the best and which one overall are my favorites. So this is the variety of drugstore foundations I picked out for volume one of this series. Now here are the four concealers as well as the color correcting palette. Now bear in mind, these are all from Ulta and in US dollars. The first foundation I have is Coriel's Infallible Pro Matte for $12.99 and in shade 105. The second one is Revlon's Color Stay for $12.99 in shade 150. The third is NYX's Total Control for $13.99 and I have shade TCDF07 Natural. The fourth is Maybelline's Fit Me Matte for $7.99 in shade 112 Natural Ivory. The fifth is LA Girls Pro Matte for $8.99 and it is in the shade Medium Beige. The sixth is Wet n Wild's Photo Focus for $5.99 in the shade Porcelain. And lastly, I have Model's Own Runway Matte for $11.99 and I have the shade Porcelain 01. First is the Model's Own Tea Tree Concealer for $8.99, and this is in the shade Vanilla 01. Second is the CoverGirl Vitalist for $10.99 in an unknown shade. Third is Maybelline's Master for $8.99 in the shade 10 Fair. Fourth is Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind for $9.99 in the shade Fair. And lastly is Catrice's All Around Color Correction Palette with five different colors. All right, you guys, I am back and with a bunch of swatches on each side of my arm. So on my underside of my arm, I decided to do all the foundations and on the upper side of my arm, I did all of the concealers and the concealing palette that I decided to get. All right, you guys, so here are my favorites. I'm gonna be doing foundation first. So for my top three foundations, I picked out the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I had this in number 105. It is a demi-matte finish and I think it looks really great. It finished fantastically on my skin with the primers and the setting powder I used for all of these is L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock. It is a drugstore brand and it seems to be keeping everything in, pr in place pretty well. So two thumbs up for that one. The second foundation that is one of my favorites is LA Girls Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation. This is in shade medium beige. This was also another one that applied super easily. It has good coverage overall. Another two thumbs up. And my last foundation that is one of my favorites is uh, Maybelline's Fit Me. This is the matte and poreless version. And this is in shade 112 Natural Ivory. 
Now once I go through all these, I will pick my top number ones of each. Now since I didn't have as many concealers, I will pick my top two. The Catrice Color Correction Palette worked pretty well, so I have no complaints about it. So it gets two thumbs up from me. It was a great price and a great value, and it does a pretty great job if you're looking for something more on the less pricey end for color correction, so I would definitely go for that. But my top two concealers were the model's own Tea Tree Healer Concealer. And I have this in shade Vanilla 01. And my second favorite concealer was the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which is an eraser for dark circles with Goji Berry and Haloxyl. I thought that worked fantastically. It had great coverage. And I went with shade Fair for that one. So to pick my winners today, we're actually just going with one brand, which is Maybelline. I decided that Maybelline's Fit Me and the Instant Age Rewind concealers were the two best, especially for my skin tone and using the primers I used. And they translated really well with application and the Infallible Pro Sweep powder covered them great. They're staying on wonderfully. So I'm going to be using those in my next video with a full face of makeup and I will be doing check-ins throughout the day to see how those hold up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it two thumbs up like I do. Well, you can only give it one, you know what I mean. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button so it can be your friend as so can I. And hit that digga 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 ding bell to get notifications as to when I'll be uploading new videos next. Thank you guys so much again. I love you. Have a good one. Bye.